I'm out at one of my favorite places out here in the display gardens at Heirloom Roses, and I'm with Cheryl. How are you, Cheryl? I'm fine, thank you. So now, this is, seems to be such a, a beautiful time of year because everything is just popping in color. Let's talk about some of the, the favorite ones that, that we love so much here. Sure. Well, we're standing under Lavender Lassie, it's true. and you can't beat the fragrance on this rose. Fragrance it's wonderful. and color and the the, the amount of blooms is insane this it's year. It's very prolific, yes. And then behind us is Paul's Himalayan musk. Yeah. It's growing up in the chestnut tree. Yeah. And you have to come now to see it because it's a once bloomer. It really is. And and that one has a nice fragrance too when you it walk does. up to it. It's just, it's, and it just goes up and up and up into those trees. Every year, taller and taller. Now, Cheryl, I have to say that, that walking around the rose gardens, I'm not seeing any black spot. Did you have some new secret that you're not telling us about? <laughs> We'd like to think that. But I think the season this year really lended itself. Yeah. We didn't have a wet April or May, uh -huh. really. And I think that made a big difference. But it probably will come. Yeah. And what we'd like to do is let people know that they don't have to be discouraged by it. We'll help them. Give us a call. We also have a lot of information on the website. Yeah. But come to the nursery and let us help you with that. Yeah, because it is the Northwest and we have Black Spot. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take a couple minutes here to say a few things. First of all, you all know how much we love Heirloom Roses and how much we adore Louise. But this is the new owners, and I'm so proud to introduce them. This is Ben and Cara Hanna, and they are the new owners of Heirloom Roses. So, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. We're excited. We're excited to uh, be out here and in these beautiful rose gardens yeah. every day. I pinch myself and think, wow, <laughs> this is where I come to spend my days. Well, it, 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 it would seem to me that that would be true because it is, it's like a little vision of heaven. And I see that, you know, people might think, Cara, that things are really going to be radically different, but it's pretty much the same, isn't it? Things are the same. Um, we're just excited to be here and be involved in such a beautiful place that's taken so much forethought yeah. in in how the gardens are displayed and we're just excited to be part of what's old but well, also and, bring some new things and we are thrilled too because to, you know we we're so glad that someone with passion has come in to take over this wonderful place now there have been some changes though and, and i personally like them let's talk about a couple of those sure you know we're we're upgrading the gardens we're trying to to, to build off of the the things that john and louise work so hard at here sure. and and make some changes for the future. We want younger gardeners to be involved with roses and love roses like we do. Yep. Um, one of those changes is we've put in a classroom in our sales cottage here and we're inviting garden clubs to come out and take advantage of that. Uh, it's a great resource. You can come out with, with a small group of five, maybe ten, up to twenty, and we can provide content and do a short lecture and enjoy the gardens, or you can just have a club meeting here and enjoy the gardens. Yeah, and you know, one of the best times to do that is at this time of year, and this is because what's happening? Rose Days <laughs> is our annual celebration of the rose yeah. this weekend. On Saturday and Sunday from nine to five, we invite the public to come out and, of course, meet Ben and Cara, yeah. Hannah, the new owners. But we have um, wine tasting again this year. We have beautiful perennials and herbs from Rosie and an M Nursery. Yeah. And we have Leah McWhorter with Sophisticated Beads. She does the jewelry for the Rose Festival Court. Nice. And some other things. Um, the Rogers and Clematis collection oh, is nice. going to be here. Yeah. And you know, roses and clematis are great companions. So it seemed like a perfect fit for us. Well, you know, every year we tell you to be sure and come on out here and look at the beauty that surrounds this place. And now it's even more of a reason to meet the wonderful new owners, Ben and, and Cara, and come out and see the blooms and learn something about roses and pick some up for your own garden. Thank you all so much. And we can't wait to see you out here at Rose Days.